Howdy folks and welcome back once more to Let's Play Ravenloft, Strahd's Possession. Today, uh, we're finally going to the, the catacombs, I guess, or the cemetery, whatever. I think it's up this way? Honestly. See, I think that takes us to the north, the northern Svalich Road. And then this is the one that takes us to the... Village of Barovia. You gotta love the corpses just fucking staked to pikes here. Or not pikes, but like beams sticking out of the ground. Burgomasters, man. Ha! That black hearted knight we met beneath the Ivlis would have the Burgomaster trembling before him. Not the other way around, whatever he was about. I should bet it represented his own best interest in these affairs. He stayed with us only long enough to fulfill his own goals, whatever they may be. Yeah, evil tends to do that. All right, let's, uh, all right, yes, we are in the old church grounds. Let us wander about. We have yet to bump into any level drainers. They do exist. I'm sure with the, the rate of combat in this, they're just going to be an absolute clusterfuck to deal with. That is certainly music of a sort. Is hiding anything out here? Oh, there's a hut to the... Oh, what would be behind us now? The east. Just... Hmm. Nothing. Curious how they're... Like, this is a weird 3D engine, because, like... The, um... The walls and stuff, they're doing some, like, limited, uh... God, what's the, th um... Fuck. There's a term where, like, sprites always face the camera. And that's what these do. It starts with a B, I think. It's like, um... Uh... Like, bordering or something. As I take a drink. I'll remember it at some point. Right, so I assume this is what we have the key to. So let's stick our heads in here. Okay. Not so hasty in passing, this curious herald upon the wall deserves ex examining. All information is of use in this strange land. Cherish and obey something deep in... Oh, it lets us look at it. Cherish and obey the land, but defy it not. Okay, so maybe this is actually... Ah. Oh, boy. It's ready the... F well, we haven't, we haven't rested either. That's... Wonderful. Any place might shed the aura of dark and welcome secrets was hang about Barovia. I'd hope this temple might be it. How foolish there's an air of desecration here. Stronger than words can express. Oh, oh, just hellhounds. Just hellhounds as they hit us for fucking 14 and are immune to burning hands. Thankfully, ice knife. Billboarding. That's that's the, the terminology that I wanted to use. I'm sure somebody's going to leave a comment. Telling me what it is, because they... You, you get that itch to immediately answer. Alright, let's go ahead and have 288 hours of sleep. Good lord. Alright, so we have... Ice Knife, and... Realistically, that's about it. Assuming this game actually tracks... Resistances on things. Yeah, these interiors are, are good. Oh, we have a mirror we can talk to. Never thought to see such as this, not in a church. Spirit of the mirror, can you hear me?
All right. Can you tell us of the future or grant wishes? Are you that sort of spirit or no? Are you the spirit of this poor mage bound priest? Me roar. Okay. All right. Can I smash it? No. There's apparently a dead priest somewhere. I I don't know. All right. Video games. I'm looking for your priest corpses. You got any priest cor? Oh, I see that. Bats. But yeah, like. All the decor and stuff, like, it adds a lot to the interiors. Compare this to, like, you know, Menzo Berenson or Stone Prophet, where this would mostly just be empty. In Menzo Berenson, like, they tried. Like, the the city of... The city of Menzo Berenson was pretty well... Like, the structures had, you know, decor and stuff in them. But... I don't know. Past that, it was pretty sparse. They did some stuff in, like, the Dwarven temples with, like, the bookshelves and stuff, but I don't know, it just feels more grounded here, I guess. I don't know how else to explain it. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Bro. Seems lost in divine service will rouse him gently from his prayers. Father, can you hear me? Father? The old priest stares into the void, his eyes unseeing, his frame unmoving. It is as if, long ago, his flesh and bones solidified in their present posture. Hmm. Okay. He's having a time. Fair enough. I don't trust this room. Writ of instruction to the catalog. If you would open the gates of Trima's catalog and travel safely where the magical tome may choose, recognize that the possession of the book itself is only a single step. No less than five authoring gathered together are necessary to bring the forces of this great work to bear. Find these. A gem whose blush is deeper than the setting suns. A stone of red and fiery cut whose value outweighs a fortune in precious gold. A finely crafted elven piece into the encircling beauty of which have been worked the purest ores of white gold or platinum. The feather of a weir raven. The mists, a card from a Vestani Seer's Taroka deck. And the symbol of truth, honor, and religious devotion, but one stolen from its rightful owner, then set free from evil hands. Only then will this item, when combined with the other four, release its holy power and awaken the forces of the catalog. So this, I assume, is Delt's symbol or whatever. We're going to probably want to hold on to that. Ah, we knew another path beyond this gloomy realm would present itself. Indeed, Strahd's tale of a portal in the caverns beneath the Iblis may have been no more than a distraction. Think of it. With those words, he sent us off, consumed with the idea of escaping Ravenloft. Yet our quest remained to recover the amulet belonging to Lord Delt. To that task, we must remain true. Yes, Rove. And probably... I don't know, I don't think I want to dump any of the books. And that's the other thing with this one, is that it's got like these books that you want to hold on to for things, whereas the other games, they, they weren't so much on the, on the lore. Wrong spell. Good God. Leave Falcon alone. He's, he's a fragile boy. These things hit like ridiculously hard and refuse to die. And there goes Chunk. Good talk. Ridiculously nasty enemies. Okay. This thing is like... I don't know where... Well, I don't know... No, I was gonna say, I don't know where else we can really go. Feels like this is the intended progression, unless we can get into that other... Other area. Might want to, like, swap out some of Rove's spells, actually, if we're gonna be fighting Hellhounds in here. Like, drop burning hands, take magic missiles, 
Drop those for ice knives. And that's about it. And Rizard, you, you... You can stay where you are. Can I sleep here? I love it. There are enemies right on the other side of this door, but it doesn't matter. Because we don't know about them. Oh, no, no. Oh, I botched it. Got it with that one, though. If the dog wants to be too dumb to come out the door, I'm okay with this. I don't think my throwing knife's gonna go, though. Really, guy? Oh, Rove just gained a level. What do we got? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Fifth level spells? Ah, nothing. Another flame arrow. And that's it. This music is getting very intense for what we're doing here. Okay. Y'all got any more of those symbols of raven kind? It's another door we can't open. Alright, so both of these doors are locked. Whatever is in this chamber. We probably need to resurrect the priest or resuscitate him. Alright, I believe there were bats about here somewhere. But now, like, I think these models, and they do have, like, they have some rotational going on with these two. Like, yeah. Got, ooh, fancy. Video games! It's just extra assets needing created. And, like, like, the depth that they had on these, like, that's actually, hmm, remember that. I feel like I need to... I feel like I need to up my texture game for Cud Crawler, but my artistic abilities in no way will allow me to match anything like this. I think maybe I should probably up the resolution of them, though. Maybe go from, like... I don't know, 32 by 32 to 48 by 48 or something. Something that's a boost, but nothing too insane. Alright, so can we get in here? What is this? Is this a thing? I just walk into it? No. Okay, let's try. Can't seem to make this key work. It must be for a door other than this. No. Uh. Oh, I wonder if we have to give this to the cleric, maybe. I could always just have Chunk hit him with a hammer. I bet you that would wake him up. Hey, holy man, I got your magic thing. My god, as I get stuck in everything, the movement is so chunky in this game, you guys. So chunky. Mouse movement would be wonderful. Okay, buddy. Is this gonna help you? Oh. No. Nothing, nothing. I tried. Um, where did the holy symbol go? Oh, we just, <laughs> we just sit it on the ground. Can I use it? No. Can I use it on the mirror? You gonna say anything? I got your magic thing. Never thought to see such as this. Yada yada yada. Alright, no, you ain't got shit. Uh. Not what I meant to do. I have to use this on the door. Did I see something on that wall, or was I imagining it? An odd imperfection of some sort. Oh, re oh, that is fucking sneaky as shit. I hate it, but respect it. Oh, this didn't connect. Okay. All that rattling, though, makes me all afeard of... Oh, no. The Tome of Evil Artifacts and Cursed Items. Of the Mirror of Life Trapping, reflections do, in fact, trap the soul. They lure in the mirrored brilliance that faithful part until the grip of life trapping stills the heart. He who has fallen to this faithful art shall wait within the circuitous of the looking glass through all eternity. He may be freed neither by innocence nor blood, 
Alas, Reflection's grip may be broken only by certain words of power boldly spoken in the presence of the mirror. These words are inscribed herein, but one page past. And of course, the, the, the page was torn from the book. Alright, so that's useless. Give me this. Now we have two of them. And while we're here, we don't need these anymore. Falcon, you get to carry the tentative quest items. What is in here? Ah, healing items. Okay. I suppose we probably don't need this anymore, do we? Uh, no. That's just showing us where the where the uh, catacombs under the town were. Okay. All right. Well, in that case. I'm gonna go back and check the other room just in case we miss something. And I hear noises that sound like more of those like skeletal bats. So get another burning hands. I think I remember there being like ghouls or something, maybe whites under this place. Uh, is that a button? Well, that is like so fucking tiny. Oh my god. That is like so mean. So, so mean. Plate helmet, though. Uh, Adam 18 chain helm will give to Chunk. It matches with his, his swank bracers of AC5 or whatever the hell they are. I am, of course, happy for healing potions. And that's probably like a cleric scroll of Ray's dead. I fucking hate it. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, there's something back here. Oh, that's the helmet. Oh, and we have a mace. Is it magical? It is not. Worse than worthless. Pure garbage. All right, let's have a nappy. We're only at 18 minutes, so I can't be like, I'm just gonna call it an episode here so that I can deal with this bullshit next time. Oh no, present Gene just doesn't get to foist this one off onto future Gene. Okay. This music is it's like going so hard. I respect it. Oh yeah, I remember. I, I remember this, this layout. I remember this place being rough. It would be much less threatening to stick our heads into this room if, like, we could turn at a brisk pace. Alas, we cannot. No. Uh, do we have any Agonazers? No. I mean, they're just zombies, but at the same time, you never know. Bro. Somebody in here working through their Del Taco. I get it. Okay, oh, oh. Gold church key. Spinning. Nothing. This, like, this reminds me of a dungeon from, like, Arena. The only difference is that the ceiling isn't like 40 feet up like all the dungeons in Arena are. I do like another chest. What do we got here? Uh, that is non-magical. Non-magical. Uh, ooh! Bring a protection. Hell yeah. Okay, so we got another box for healing items. Thank God. Uh, and this, I'm actually just going to put quest items in for the time being. Tentative, like, key items. Should probably, like, dump some of these extra weapons, because realistically, I don't think we need them. Zero AC? I'm going to give it to Falcon. He can actually use it. Like, Chunk's... Chunk's okay with a one. It's not like the fucking negative 14 that we had in <laughs> in Stone Prophet, which was just absurd. Our ACs in this area are going to be nowhere near that good because we don't have access to um, magical vestment, but 
That's okay. Hi guys. Where you go? Chunk, where's your other dagger? Bro. No. Caesar beating the shit out of Falcon. Thankfully he's got hit points. Might wanna swap Rove off of the off of the magic missiles and back into burning hands. 192 hours of nap time. So how long did your adventure take? Approximately seven years. Burning hands doing work though. If not killing them. Healthily softening them up. I had even props, like, there are a lot of enemies in these areas. It's not like... These walls seems unusual. It's not like, um, in Stone Prophet or Menzo Barons and where most fights against enemies, it's like maybe two or three guys. I was gonna say, there's gotta be something in here. Oh, I'm saving. I don't trust... I don't trust these corridors not to be filled with level drainers. Oh boy. Tentatively we have this one? No. Eh? Oh my god. Heaven forbid your thief be useful in any way in a tabletop D&D game. Uh, is there anything else? Music's kicking back in. It's very intense. Like camping. Get it? Intense? <laughs> uh... Y'all can blame Outrider for that one. He hit me with that, like, no joke, probably a decade ago. And it's been living rent free in my head since. Alright, so how do we. We can't click on them. Are there buttons craftily hidden around here, perhaps? Ah, oh, this is so painful to navigate. There are totally buttons hidden in here. This music actually kind of reminds me of like the bells in the background of it remind me of like Lands of Lore a little bit. Like just the little bells right now, they remind me of like some stuff from uh like cut scenes in Lands of Lore. Uh... I don't know. Wait a minute. If I close this, does does it open them? By any chance? Uh no. Okay. Figured I would try. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. All right, what's what's in here? Remove curse scroll. Okay. Is this gonna be the other one that's got like some horrible thing in it? No. Oh, oh, just a zombie. No, that's not a zombie. That's a white. Ooh. What is this? A parchment fragment. Looks as if it's a bit of parchment torn from a book. Perhaps there's writing on it, but without the rest of the pieces, I doubt any sense can be made. Hey! You did this in another game! Very strange. The texture of sprite work even looks similar. I know, game. I'm mad, too. I just can't be that petulant about it. I'm not allowed. The internet has banned me. 
from excessive petulance on my YouTube channel. Commenters just can't stand it. And then chat starts whining about it when I stream. Just can't win. I bet I could pick these locks, can't I? Yes, throw the lock picks at them, Chunk. Yeah. These aren't necessary. Ooh, a paladin's holy symbol. Like fucking three holy symbols. Ooh, some plate mail, and it's non-magical. Leather. Also non-magical, and a two-hander. I don't know why I bother. I'm not going to use it, even if it is magical. This reminds me of fucking Quest for Glory 4. Such a fucking good game. Like, I hate adventure games. The Quest for Glory games, though, fucking ace. Does it open opposite doors? No, it doesn't. Hey, zombies. I'm taking this one. Aha, nothing. Fuck. I hate that Hold Undead seems to break as soon as we hit them. That's kind of some bullshit. The atmospheric sound in this is really good. Like, like you can hear things plodding around and stuff. I don't even know if there are actually things moving around in here, but it, it's it's pretty fucking good. I like it a lot. There's a lot that this game does that I appreciate. I mean, it's obviously that it's like kind of the first on the, the engine. But they're doing some impressive stuff here, I think. I do like these little like wall niches with the books in them. I think that's pretty cool. Shame there's not apparently anything in here. Okay. I mean, not everything can have something that's immediately relevant to progressing through the game, I suppose, but I don't know, it looked like an important room, maybe like a scroll or something. Nothing. Okay. That's right. Get fucked, kid. Uh, you have no AOEs. I have a wand of fireballs, though. Fuck it. We got a wand of fireballs. We're using it. What's this? Another parchment fragment. That's two. Oh, this room does not like me walking in it. These. Like, these are cheeky how they're put together. They're not a single object, I don't think. I think there's like an end and an end, and then the centerpieces are all separate objects. But the way the um, billboarding works, it makes them look like a single object. It's like how you can um, you can fake 3D in in with like 2D sprites by making them layer in specific ways. It's very clever. I have an appreciation for it. Okay, let's see. I'll just zombies don't worry me too much. He says moments before Chunk gets bludgeoned to death by one of them. Hey. Some skeletons in here, maybe? Not oh, more zombies. Okay. Not anything too interesting in here. All right. I mean, this was fairly productive, all things considered. Now we have some locked doors. But I do think I am going to go ahead and call an episode here, and I will see you all next time, wherein maybe we'll clear this place out. I don't know. We'll see. Until then. Hey, you made it to the end. Nice. If you had a good time, check out one of these other series, see if you like them. Drop a like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to support the channel, feed the machine and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.